in construction reinforcing bars are very important for the structural integrity and safety hey friends welcome back to civil engineering master proper lapping of reinforcement bars in column is essential for maintaining the structural integrity and ensures the effective load transfer today let's delve into the do's and don'ts for the lapping of column reinforcement let's start with do's of lapping of bars in columns first one is calculate the lap length correctly for example if we have two different diameters bars for lapping we have to use the smaller diameter to calculate the lap length Second one is place laps in appropriate zones. Position laps in areas of the column with lower stress, typically the middle third of the column side. This will minimize the impact of bending moment. The appropriate lapping zone is where we have the less bending moment. Third one is staggered lapping. Avoid aligning all laps at the same level. Staggered lap prevent the formation of weak planes and ensures the better load distribution. Fourth one is providing adequate concrete cover. Ensure sufficient concrete cover for the overlapped bars to protect against corrosion and fire adhering to code requirements. And the last one is to use proper transverse reinforcement. In the lapping zone, provide additional ties to confine the lapped bars and maintain their position during concrete placement. As per code, the ties shall be closely spaced to the entire lap length. Next, let's move on to don'ts for lapping of bars in columns. First one is avoid lapping in high stress zones. Do not place laps near beam column joint or column end where bending moments are highest. So, lap shall be provided where the bending moment is zero. Second one is do not lap larger dia bars without special considerations. For example, if the bars are larger than 36 mm in diameter, avoid lapping unless specifically designed. Consider mechanical couplers or welding instead. Third one is do not overlap excessively. Excessive lap lengths can lead to congestion and poor concrete compaction. Follow design specifications for lap lengths. Fourth one is avoid poor alignment. Ensure that the lapped bars are properly aligned and tied to prevent displacement during concrete pouring. And the last one is to avoid inadequate lap length. If the lap length is not sufficient, bars may split that create damage to the column. In addition to this, we have to ensure that the bars are free from oil, rust and other contaminants before lapping to achieve proper bonding with concrete. Few important points to remember. Lap shall be provided when the bending moment is zero. We have to avoid providing the lap in tensile zone and column beam junction. Ties or transverse reinforcement shall be closely spaced to the entire lap length. These are few important points to remember. You can refer this table for the do's and don'ts in lapping of reinforcement in columns. It is also very important to follow the codes IS456 and IS13920 for the lapping of reinforcement in columns. Friends, if you want to know the calculation of lap length as per codes, Please send your message in the comment box. I will provide a separate video for that. And if you really like the content, hit the like button. I will show it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.